All right. I wanted to show you guys one more thing, how to create a citation from a journal article in case you don't know how. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open up a Word document just to show you guys the, the citation. I'm going to see if I can't have this be half and half. All right, so let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we need when we're creating a citation is we need the author name. So in this case, it is Rock Lage. I'm going to go ahead and make all of this a bit bigger so you guys can see it. Normally, it'd be you know a different font, different size, but just so you guys can see this clearly. Okay. And when it's only two authors, you can just put and Fazio R. Okay, and now we need to know when this journal article was published. So what, a lot of times when you look at the PDFs of these things, you will see that you have information usually on the corner or perhaps down on the bottom or in the margins is where you'll find this information. So this was published in 2020, as you can see right there. I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bigger. Okay, this is all the information that we're gonna need. Oops, I clicked on something. That's okay, it might look like this. And you can see this is the Journal of Marketing Research and I have first published right here. Okay, it doesn't have as much of the other information, so I'm gonna hit the back button. Because what I really want to show you guys too is the volume information here, because if we look at our APA formatting requirements, for articles and periodicals, which is a journal article, I'm gonna make this bigger, I don't like it like that. You can see the general format. Okay, so you have the title of the article after the year. So I'll just alt tab to that. Do 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 where did the article go that we were citing? Okay, so the title of the article, I'm gonna see if it'll let me copy and paste this. It probably won't. Oh, it did. But one of the things it got all weird on the formatting. When we are writing the title, no, it has a parenthesis there. I forgot to put the year. Yeah. We're not supposed to capitalize each word in the title unless it is following a colon like that or a semicolon or a proper noun like the name of a place or a person or, or something like that. So in this case, since none of those things are the case, we do it like that. Then we want to make the journal title in italics. So if I come back over here, it says right here, the journal title, Journal of Marketing Research. So Journal of Marketing Research, and we do capitalize the title of a book or a journal. Now, if you guys remember, let me go back over to my window. Right here, the title of the article, comma, the volume number. So that should also be in italics. So comma, and then the volume number, wrong one, you can see is 52 and the issue is two. And as you can see, the issue will be just in parentheses, not in italics. Here, uh, 52, turn my italics off like that. Okay. And then we have the pages. And that's right here, 332 through 352. 352 and then we have to put in the DUI okay which oops, I clicked it again my bad so I'll just copy and paste it from right here if it'll let me I just want to copy and paste <laughs> I don't know why it's being so difficult there we go Control C. all right space do like that all right, and of course it would be no spaces, double space, hanging indent. And of course it wouldn't be so big. It would be you know size 12 or 11, depending on which font I was using. All right, and then the in-text citation for this one would be like that, okay? Now, if I come back here, I think that is all. I, oh, I wanted to show you how to cite a website. So if I had something, let's say, say I cite this page, okay? I can actually show you that on electronic sources, we have 
how to cite a website. So if I go, let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to this website. Of course, I pick one that's not found. <laughs> uh, all right, I lied. Let's go to the CDC and just pick an article. OK. So actually, let me see, let me see. Psychology Today sounds like more fun. I want to get an article from Psychology Today. Let's see that. Eventually, let's say I wanted to cite this website. So one of the things that I would need to see right here, so I'm going to go ahead and this is the standard formatting. for citing a website, OK? So what would that look like on here? So who's my author right here? Matt Johnson. So it's Johnson M. I need the year, month, and date that this was, the October 20th. So you can write out the whole word or not like that. So this says it was last, it was posted today. Oh, cool. All right, then we need the title of the page, which is going to be right here, the psychology of doom, tourism, and last thing. So we put that in italics. And remember, we do not capitalize each word. Oh, fixing my things. Of doom, tourism, and last chance travel. And then, I don't know if you notice, there's a subtitle. Can we overcome the paradox of dark tourism? So whenever you have a subtitle like that, you can put a colon and then you can capitalize that first word. OK, so I'm going to turn off the italics. The site name is Psychology Today. And then the URL, copy, paste. And then this would be cited in, in text. Johnson 2020. That would be it. OK. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Again, if you ever need any help with this sort of stuff, please, please, please send me an email. Set up a time for us to meet. I'm, I'm available generally in the mornings from like 10 to 12, Monday through Friday, um, by appointment for video or phone call conferences. So I uh, hope this was helpful.